You can't always see it, but it's something many of us carry around, like a weight on our shoulders every day. Stress is a part of life. It's a part of being human. It's a part of just what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The clients here often visit to de-stress from work. I find that most people are very giving to other people, but not for themselves. Experts say one way of escaping the stresses of everyday life is to take care of yourself once in a while. So at the end of a busy week, there's one important question. What's the best way of de-stressing for you? Best way of de-stressing? Well, during the week I go to the gym. Going to the gym. Going to the gym in an ideal world. A common solution to a common problem. And the provincial government has taken notice, proposing an amendment to the Workers' Compensation Act. We know that mental stress can have a significant effect on workers and their families. Right now, workers can only claim compensation for stress related to a specific traumatic incident. A notable case is Robert Fawcett, who in workers' comp documents claimed post-traumatic stress disorder after killing sled dogs in Whistler. Through Bill 14, we will be expanding the mental stress conditions that will be eligible for workers' compensation coverage. If adopted, workers diagnosed with cumulative work-related stress could be given benefits. There's a level of, you know, anxiety. Um, I think everyone in this day and age holds. We know that we look at individuals that have untreated or unaddressed mental health issues, their productivity is much lower. So getting appropriate um, assessment and treatment helps increase productivity. And lighten the load some walk with every day. Shahid Devji, CTV News, Vancouver.